name is Margaret Ann Windsor, and I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace and brought to Moulton, Alabama. In 1941, I was two years old. I've just gotten these photos from where I was taken. I've never had them before. I'm almost 76 years old now. This is the family, Dempsey's, and this is me. And I can remember them me them trying to put me in the photograph, and they had no cars, so they had to bring these in. It doesn't show anything but the corner of the porch there. That's the woman that killed her twins on this side on your left, and that's me. And I was running uh, from them. They were going to put me in the photograph, and I told them, I said, I don't belong in this family. So this is, uh, I'm in the middle, and that's who I was told was my grandmother on one side, grandfather on the other. Of course, this was a glossed over picture of somebody paid to have this made because you'd never see them dressed like that for ages after then. They were, it was like a pig style that was brought to live then, and the uh, uh, torture was unreal, the abuse. But uh, that wasn't taken in. Uh, Spring of 43, I believe. I was about there in spring of 41 because I remember when they handed me in the arms of this woman, I had curly blonde hair and I had a short sleeve on. Now, this is a picture that I was sent of me growing up. I haven't had these pictures, any of them, or didn't even know they existed, really. And that's one. That's who I thought was a cousin. And uh, I guess you can't know his name. His name was George. And I'm not, this isn't funny, any of it. As in George Washington stole it from me. And then I was kidnapped. And this is a uh, picture of me in high school. Not a very, I'm not getting a very good photograph of it. And I want to come down here uh, to my father, Edward VIII. I remember they left a portrait also, a big portrait about the size of this uh, mirror here. My christening, that's the bottom of the mirror. My father was holding me. This is my Aunt Georgia O'Keefe. Uh, I don't have this photograph of my mom, Claudia. I found out in 83 after I'd been in a political campaign. And I've written a book, by the way, of, on mind control and... Uh, that's on all the other tapes. I had a lot done to me, and uh, Larry Flint was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, and the person that programmed him was programmed to kill his attorney and shoot Mr. Flint, and I was flown to his home in October of 83 during the campaign. But this is uh, Wallace Simpson, and this is how much history has been changed. She was married to a double. She never married my father. She was a spy, and you should see the lies they told about my dad. And this is George the Sixth, my uncle, 1939 with Roosevelt, the year I was born. And the Illuminati helped kidnap me, kidnap me, the orchestra, excuse me. And my uncle George helped take down my father, his own brother. It was a forced takedown, and then I was born in... They kidnapped me, and I'm Victoria the Second, the legal heir to the Bridge Crown. And uh, nine-nine year seal was put on it, so that tells you something there. Now this is my sons, Mark and Scott, and I haven't seen my sons or heirs after me. This is Mark, and that's Scott. And this is an old photograph, as you can see, and I have no idea where they are. And I want to show uh, myself, I guess, here. Uh, I have to still use the name, Peggy, being Mary Childers. This is uh, a letter to the district attorney in Moulton, Alabama, where they took me. And uh, they just say, when I've spoken on the phone, they say that the FBI is handling it. Well, I'm kidnapped. And at one point, I called the sheriff here. 
Now, these people, this is where I grew up. And it, it, this whole thing's like a joke. They put antifreeze in April Fool's Day of 80 after I'd done a book, this book, Medical Malpractice, book about mind control. And uh, it's to, <laughs> when I called there, the sheriff's office, where I grew up and where all this happened, and nobody, all these people were, knew about my kidnapping and the murders. Or at least most of those sisters did. All of them, really. Maybe one didn't. Uh, and that's George's mother. Well, I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's been like this joke. Their response to me at the sheriff's office was, well, you need to go back to London since the crime happened there. I'm a hostage. Great Britain's a hostage. My Uncle George uh, and Elizabeth signed illegal treaties, everything has been, and allowed the United States to put its military bases all over Great Britain and use it for a launching pad to control the world. So Great Britain's just a traitor and kidnapper every name in the book, and they control the war tribunal. This is, um, by the way, he married a divorcee and Catholic. My mother was a teacher. Um, that's, they're members of the New World Order, Charles and Elizabeth. This is Larry Flint's article he did in 84 when he endorsed me and I was out there. And um, he was shot March the 6th while I was doing the book in Marietta. And I had a letter from the FBI June the 23rd of 79 and then ongoing investigation national security involved. What I wanted to say also is this woman... um, she lived in my homes. She spent my money. She's not the real monarch. She signed illegal treaties. And uh, she came to Virginia in 07 when the mind control shootings happened at Virginia Tech right next door to me here. I'm in Roanoke, and uh, that was in um, Blacksburg. I was living on the Appalachian Trail, starving, freezing, and have been, and I, I put all this on tapes. This woman was paid. She went right through here, and I could go on about that. I wanted to say, though, that while she was enjoying my life and giving my country away, I was picking cotton over here in Alabama, and I heard Obama and them telling their thing about they were... Uh, I guess people, because they saw they were at a, well, a dinner or some function, and somebody handed them the keys, and that was supposed to be derogatory, uh, somehow racism. And Mrs. Obama was in a Target, and someone asked her, thought she was an employee, and asked her to help them lift something down, and that was like civil rights violation, uh, you know. <laughs> anyway, they say... I wonder what you call me. I'm British. I'm the monarch. And every inconceivable crime, torture, and oh, I'm not kidding. And now then they're talking about killing a leader, North Korean leader, and they don't want the movie to be shown. You can better believe they don't want it shown or any part of this about me and my father and the takedown of the Brits and what really happened in Germany. And, by the way, has happened to some citizens here. And that's what the FBI said to me. One of them said, um, you bore them, and he pretended to yawn. He says, it's only when they find out how to fix them that they care. And I can tell you that uh, a lot of the mind controls, some of them were done in patterns. Uh, the uh, Tucson, Arizona is one with Gabby Gifford and her when uh, her husband was um, Mark Kelly and his twin Scott Kelly, both of them are astronauts, uh, and that whole bunch, I think it was 12 that were shot, if you had a database that had all this in it, uh, it's really puzzling how Aurora, Colorado, how you can make people come together to shoot them in patterns. Because that means that somebody's had a lot of control way back. But it wasn't just picking cotton in Alabama. It's, it was what I lived in and the abusive way I was treated, and that doesn't even cover it. Uh, it was really sick. But anyway, she lived good. So is a lot of people here in this country. And this is just where the twins, that was the Carl, 
and a, a woman, one of the doctors that uh, supposedly didn't know what year he brought them, <laughs> birthed them.